Okay, we're here in Lincoln, England. Lincoln. A little bit north, right? A little bit north. And we have seen two amazing cathedrals today. We were one in, in Ely, England, and then, and then today, uh, the rest of the day in Lincoln. There's also a castle here. One of the four copies of the Magna Carta is here. So we, we've seen the one in Salisbury, and uh, it's just amazing. We had the coolest guide in the, um, the cathedral here in Lincoln. She's Jewish. Her family came from Germany uh, during the war, during the horrible things going on there and England accepted them. And so the parents, her parents said, okay, now that uh, Britain has taken, uh, taken us, we are gonna become part of the community and we will worship in the Anglican church. So she's Jewish, but, worship, uh, uh, but worships mostly in, um, what's the name of the cathedral? Um, the, the... St. Mary's. Right, St. Mary's Cathedral. It's dedicated to her. Anyway, the, the, the big, huge cathedral that's massive here in Lincoln. And and she she said, you know, we all worship the same God. And she says, and Jesus was a, was a Jew. So she said, it fits perfectly for me. And she said, I always knew I was a Jew, but my parents, you know, raised me here in England. But she said her dad was a doctor. And so she was treated okay, but she went to, to when she became a student in, in university is when she really found out and identified as a Jew and then dealt with all that, you know, that was going on. Anyway, we've had a, just a fantastic trip. I did want to make a, another comment on the Tim Ballard and Elder Ballard, President Ballard situation. So, I think I was right. <laughs> um, we have this, uh, what, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, stop it. <laughs> I'm in control of the camera. So we, we had this uh, uh, revelation, I guess, come out, this, this uh, evidence of of Doug Anderson, right? Doug Anderson. Doug he, Anderson. He is the director of media relations, which I think used to be called public public affairs, but media relations. And he he's the one that, that generated this email that was so critical of Tim Ballard and and apparently sent it out to uh, crazy media people that uh, quite often are anti-Mormon. I'm not going to get into names and things like that, but but his name was on the email from a church email address. So I think that's what I said, that this came from, uh, you know, I said public affairs, but, but media relations is basically the same thing. So um, my guess is Well, here's what I think. <laughs> there are people and there are organizations within this ginormous church that have a lot of power and do a lot of things. And it, it's not that the brethren don't know, but you just can't control every single aspect. And Sue and I have had personal experience with public affairs back when it was called public affairs department where we got we got accused of some things that we didn't even come close to doing and it wasn't made public but we got chewed out ripped on true story <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, and I can share that with you sometime I won't give names but I, I know ex so so the verbiage everything about this it just it just smelled of this and so um, my hope is is that the ecclesiastical part of the church leadership, someone will make a statement and say, hey, you know, and, and then that Anderson should get fired and get 
and, and get reprimanded. You, you just you don't destroy people's lives without ha having any opportunity to defend yourself. And this should have been done privately if they really thought there was an issue or anything like that. So anyway, that's my opinion. Do you have any take on it? Do you have anything you want to say? No, nothing on that. Do you have anything you want to say? Well, I was just trying to think of the name of the lady at um, the Ely Cathedral. It's Ethel something. While she's looking that up, I watched the highlights at the BYU-Arkansas game. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if the highlights reflected the whole game, but what a game. That was fantastic. So I'm trying to stay caught up but live in the moment. Um, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Troy Abel's uh, The Last Dispensation. He's been covering this. Um, I might have a slightly different take than he does on, on things, but he's... He's such a good soul, and he's really putting out some great, great videos. So Troy Abel's uh, The Last Dispensation. If you haven't checked that channel out, check it out. Um, he's, he's, really, um, he's really cranked it up, if you will. I'll give you a little background or thing here. There's a little river that flows in here, and it actually flows all the way to the sea, the North Sea. And this is where conquering armies, the, the Romans actually opened this up so that they could get goods in here. This is actually where Constantine um, found out he was going to be the emperor of Rome. <laughs> he was fighting his dad's battles uh, clear up here in England. So isn't that cool? So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome, isn't it? So it's a, it uh, we had some rain. It's a little breezy, a little cool, but... Um, we're probably more bundled up than we need to be, but we've had some just great. Oh, it's great. freezing. It's not, it's not that cold. It's freezing. It's not that cold. But anyway, what, what else? The cathedral. Oh. In Ely. Another, oh yeah, go ahead. And Ethel Drita, if you want to look her up. Oh my heavens. Oh, what an incredible woman. Spell that name. E-T-H-E-L. D-R-E-D-A. And they are now celebrating 1,350 years of this foundation that was built here in this in this area. Well, it, it was back down in Ely. It was amazing. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. So one of the uh, um, legends is that Mary Magdalene here in Lincoln, that this is where she was taken up, translated, right? I mean, it's kind of a cool thought. Um, there's some pretty strong evidence that, that both Marys with Joseph of Arimathea, who was who traded in tin and uh, probably came into the, the Glastonbury area, but moved around but think of think of them as being here uh, the, the legends are great and um, you could you could um, call them myths if you want but the, the, but there's some pretty compelling evidence uh, that there's some things there's all the, always the there's also these ley lines <coughs> excuse me that um, you know run through like Stonehenge and and um, the uh, Their energy lines, energy lines, yeah, and um, the 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 chalice well, and 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 then on up here, the Knights Templar knew about these. They put cathedrals on these on these energy the ley lines. lines. Run these energy lines run, and you can you can see where they put all of these religious buildings on all these ley lines and they all intersect around the world and so all these great places and guess where um guess what area has ley lines that converge salt lake city utah salt lake city converge <laughs> like a lot of them yeah you can google it ley lines and and then just 
to Utah or the United States. You can do United States and see where the ley lines yeah, fall. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep this at 10 minutes. We love you all. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for all your love and support. And we will chat with you very soon. Very soon.